conversation here is imagined, but Mozart's words are not. All the words included here are his own, taken from his many lively letters and reported conversations. Well, it's very kind of you to talk with me, Herr Mozart, and I hope you're in good health. You may hope, believe, think, be of the opinion, cherish the expectation, desire, imagine, conceive, and confidently suppose that I'm in good health. But I can tell you so to a certainty. Well, that clears that one up. You sound in good spirits. You know that I'm a great talker. That's always good news for an interview. Then my grandmother told my mother, and my mother told her daughter, my sister, that it was a very great art to talk eloquently and well, but an even greater one to know the moment to stop. Is it true that one evening you apparently composed a clarinet trio in your head while playing skittles with some drinking chums? I compose as a sow piddles. Well, that's one way of putting it. So new music comes to you seemingly unbidden, complete in every detail. I know all the airs thoroughly by heart, so I can see and hear them in my own thoughts at home. You know, though, my greatest desire is to write operas. can see why you found it hard to open your heart to your father. I would gladly have opened my heart to him, but was deterred by the reproaches I dreaded. You received a difficult letter from him in 1778. Next to God comes Papa was my axiom when a child, and I still think the same. But on this occasion, he thought you were spending too much time in Mannheim and spending too much money there, while back in Salzburg, he was dressed in rags. And... His feelings shocked you. Yes, I was so shocked at those words that tears came to my eyes on reading that letter, saying he goes about so shabbily dressed. And how did you respond? My very dearest papa, this is certainly not my fault, I said. You know it is not. We economise in every possible way here. Food and lodging, wood and light cost us nothing. And as for dress, you are well aware that in places where you are not known, it is out of the question to be badly dressed, for appearances must be kept up. You wrote very uh, loving letters home. How would it go? Spruce up your sweet little nest, Constancy, because my little rascal here really deserves it. He has been very well behaved, but now he's itching to possess right, I think, your... Uh, I think we're getting the gist. And in one letter, I kissed her 1,095,060,437,082 times. That is a lot of kisses. You missed your wife. I was as happy as a child at the thought of returning to her. And you couldn't say that about most of the relationships you had. Yes, if people could see into my heart, I should almost feel ashamed. Why was that? All there is cold. Cold as ice. Music is your language. I cannot write poetically, for I'm no poet. No. I cannot make fine artistic strokes that cast light and shadow, for I am no painter. OK. I can neither by signs nor by pantomime express my thoughts and feelings, for I am no dancer. That I can by tones, for I am a musician. And a musician who has written many beautiful melodies, though not without dissonance and darkness beneath the surface. Death has always haunted you. I never lie down at night without thinking that, young as I am, I may be no more before the next morning dawns. 